Well, good afternoon, you guys. We are at the Mohawk Bar and Grill. Um, if you've never heard of it, it's because it's new. Out at what used to be the Springfield Country Club and is now Pine Ridge Golf Club, uh, they have the restaurant open, new hours, new menu, and this burger right here has no name. And there's a contest so that you guys can help name this burger. And if you tag two people on this video right now, you will be eligible to win a $25 gift card to the Mohawk Bar and Grill. Um, they have local beer, they got wine, mixed drinks, good old Coors Light, <laughs> anything else you need. And here to talk with us a little bit. We should probably get out of the kitchen, get get out of the way of the, of the, the cook. She's important. So she's going to cook up a burger for us. Tell them who you are. Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm the manager of the restaurant. And, and so you guys, when did you reopen? Because I've heard nothing but good stuff since... We reopened in, um, let's see, November. So there's a new owner out here. Yes. A former golf... We're going to meet Ron in a minute, but he was a golfer out here, part of the board, and ended up taking on a golf course, and he is now yes. creating... So this is going to be your hours. You have hours that people. So can we've extended our hours out to um, eight o'clock, and then the bar stays open till ten. We have a bar menu at night, so that when people come in after the restaurant's closed and dinner's done, they can still have food to eat. Um, we have shuffleboard and pool, and we also have the lottery now, so you can come and uh, play the uh, poker machines if you like. So let's show. I want to show them something. You guys, look at the, here's the menu. I'm going to give you a look here. So you can see what we got going on here. So here, the Mohawk Bar and Grill. And again, this is at what used to be the Springfield Country Club. And now it's Pine Ridge Golf Club. But look at this. This is their, and this is the burger right now. They're having a contest to name this burger that we're going to make here. A double patty hamburger. And then here, there's more though. There you go. They have deli sandwiches. We've got salads, beverages. And then we also have a dinner menu. And you've upscaled the thing. Yeah, we have steaks and uh, fish and chicken and pasta all available um, every night from 5 o'clock until 8. So if you guys tag two people on the comment section, just put their names in there, then you'll be eligible uh, to win a $25 gift card to the restaurant. Let's go look out of it. We're going to show you the restaurant. So this is back in the kitchen. And we can go right out this slide, side door. Hold on, I'm going to open this up for you. So here you go. So this is the new place. So here we go full bar I'm gonna show you here so you can see local beer there you go local beer plus Coors Light oh look at that here she is no you're fine okay. there there's your Coors right there for a good golf day on the golf course and a Coors or a Coors Light <laughs> I, I know how you are I know how you guys are so we also have darts and look at this huge room oh, pool and then Ron okay I'm gonna show you over here yeah they put in a fireplace over here. There you go. And then here is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> shuffleboard. Yep. So Ron went and got this shuffleboard from a local bar. And I'll let him tell you the story of that. But you guys just get a view here. This is Pine Ridge Golf Club. Just newly opened. In fact, they have a, a big grand opening coming up. I'm going to talk to Ron, one of the owners. Hey, Ron. Yes. Tell them your last name. Ron Perkins. And you were, you've you been a Springfield Golf a Club member um, forever. Uh, since 2004. Uh, and so how did you end up being owner? By accident. <laughs> there's always a story there, right? There, there, there's a short story. Uh, I bought a house in the first fairway when I retired from my last business. Um, a couple years later, the opportunity to purchase a club um, happened and uh, I took that opportunity to see if we could uh, take this club and the restaurant to uh, another level. So you really that this restaurant is going to be because it's been off and on back in the past and now it's open you have longer hours it's a place people can come out and hang out you don't have to golf you don't have to be a golfer. Absolutely not we're trying to create a family friendly restaurant a uh, place for good dining for the people that live in the valley as well as the golfers. 
So what do you, and, and you know, and this is Ron's backyard. <laughs> so it kind of helps if you own the golf course. Yeah, and this, it helps to be really close by. And this is a public golf course now. This is definitely a public golf course, although we do have members, uh, the ones that uh, want to play a lot and get a benefit on uh, or a reduction on their greens fees by being a monthly member. Somebody says, Jim says you have the best chicken Alfredo around. I can't deny that, and i <laughs> tell you what, I'm a salmon eater, and I love the salmon here. So you guys, again, if you tag two people on the comment section, you're eligible to win a $25 gift card. Ron is going to be a client for the next six months. We're going to come out here and show you some super cool stuff. Uh, new driving range, which has, well, the driving range now has covers over it, so that makes it kind of yeah, nice. That, that's the first for, for the Springfield uh, area to have a covered driving range out here. Now, when's your grand opening? Our grand opening is going to be Saturday, May 4th. Uh, it's the day before Cinco de Mayo. We're going to offer a day of free golf with a free taco bar up here in the restaurant. Really? Is that why Sean is saying taco truck? <laughs> that, could, that could be. <laughs> that might be why she's talking about it. So you guys, everybody can come out, experience what's new. You have a new groundskeeper. I mean, this is like a whole new deal. We have a new groundskeeper. We have a very experienced uh, pro shop uh, pro and teaching pro, uh, very experienced uh, restaurant manager uh, here, which you just met, Valerie. Um, our cook, uh, Susan, has been here forever, so they know how to uh, make it work up here. Albert Roy says, may the 4th be with you. 4th is, <laughs> is good. The 4th be with you. Okay, guys, come here. I want to take you outside on the deck. This is what's going to be so cool in the summertime, because now you don't have to be a member, and you can just come here, order a drink or a hamburger, and then you just come out here and sit. You guys, this is only, how, how far, Ron, because I live out here, but how far are we? Like four miles from the we, Springfield? We are five miles from the intersection of uh, uh, 42nd Street and uh, 105. You guys, you could just sit out here in the evening and uh, have a beer or a mixed drink and look at this and go play at, gosh, how many holes do you have here? 18 holes. So it's an 18 hole, and you're one of only, there's not that many around. Uh, no, there's uh, just a handful of courses in our area, the, the two uh, country clubs, Eugene and Shadow Hills, and, uh, and Diamond Woods, uh, Emerald Valley, and uh, us here at Pine Ridge. Melissa Sinclair, you know her? I do know Melissa Sinclair. She says she loves my work and Ron's the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a little golf court down here, and let's go, let's go, we're going to go find uh, Scotty. And you guys, the driving range, they have a new thing out here, which I'm excited about because I'm not a golfer and I'm not very good at it. And it's one of those things you really have to do. It's a, a new uh, concept. It's called Fling Golf. Um, it's just starting now. We've, uh, we've looked into it and we're uh, hopefully going to uh, start bringing that to the course in the near future. Okay, so you guys, we're going to go look at something called Fling Golf and over at the driving range. And they have these cool little covers on the driving range. So, you know, it, it is Oregon and sometimes we get a little bit of rain or mist. And uh, Springfield Country Club is just a few miles outside of uh, Springfield. And now it's not that anymore. So now it's called Pine Ridge Golf Club and it is public. So you can come out here. Oh, there's Smarty out there doing his thing. So this is the driving range. I'm a, so you guys, I'm not a golfer, but I would love to swing by. Yeah, you know, Ron, you are on a major bike trail for cyclists around Eugene, Springfield. Mm -hmm. So cyclists just come in. This is a place you can stop or you could even start and then come back and finish and have a beer when you're done. We would love to see them. This is Scotty. Hey, buddy. So, so this is Fling Golf? Yeah, this is uh, Fling Golf. Um, we're going to be introducing this uh, in the near future. So what? Um, so look at this, you guys. So this is, okay. Yeah. So basically, we want to give people an opportunity to um, get onto the course who normally don't have, you know, any golf experience or anything like that. Um, we know that golf's a really difficult game. So if you're just starting out, uh, it could be challenging. But this kind of gives anyone an opportunity uh, to come out here and enjoy the golf course. All right, show us how it works. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. So you just put the ball in the socket there. Lock it back. <laughs> that is so awesome. So you can do this on the course. You'll yeah. have days or something like. How does that work? Yeah. Uh, you can do this on the course. Um, 
same rules as uh, regular golf. Oh my gosh, I could, my wife and I would have so much fun doing that. Do it again. Okay, show them again. Yeah. Look, guys, this is fling golf. This is so cool. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me get my camera up here. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have to move it with you. Okay, here we go. Ready? That is... About 130 or so yards right there. So, yeah, this is your driver, your wedge, and your putter all in one. Okay. So, as a young guy, what do you hope is, goes on out here? Um, I, I want uh, people my age coming out here. Um, so I think that things like the, the fling golf will really appeal to some of the younger generations, the millennials. So look at Kathy, really some it. Kathy on here. Fling golf, I want to try this. Yeah, absolutely. So how do people get in touch with you or find out more about the golfing end of this? Yeah, um, you can just call the pro shop and they'll have all the information for you guys. And is this started yet or this is coming? This fling is golf. this is coming, yeah. So this fling is golf is not future. here, but we're going to be doing out here once a month anyway, you guys. So we will let you know when it starts and how it works. Hi, Andy, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Tag two people, you guys, and you'll be eligible for a twenty-five dollar gift card to the Mohawk Bar and Grill. Um, I want to show you the exterior because I didn't get to show you that. So we are out here in the Mohawk Valley, and that's the golf club, that's the restaurant, and the lounge, and the pro shop, and you are out here in God's country. You're out in the middle of nowhere, still neighborhoods around, but it's quiet. Okay, guys, and I'm sorry, but I think this is the coolest thing ever. All right, here's Fling Golf, introducing a first in Lane County. That is so awesome. I think that's a smart idea, Scotty. Yeah. I mean, people are reacting, they're liking this. They're going, yeah. that that looks really, really cool. I'm really excited to roll this out. All right, so Ron. Um, why a golf course? What was that? Why a golf course? You're, you're, be, be, this be, is because we can. Because you can. Yes. And you really want to do something different. So it's not like, yes, golfers will be more than comfortable here and treated well, but make it so that other people kind of use the facility. Right. We, we've got your core golfers and, uh, and uh, the uh, avid golfers. But what we need to do is we need to bring in... Uh, the golfers who only golf a few times a year, the, the families that want to come out with their kids, um, there's just a lot more to offer out here uh, for everybody. And, uh, and we're so close to Springfield, you guys, so that's the easy part. And after work, you can come out here in the summertime and this spring and sit on the deck and have a beer and just relax. And it's not, I mean, it's, you're not in town. You're not in town, just a few minutes outside. It's an escape. <laughs> now tell me, you know what I forgot to ask you while we were inside? Tell them where you got the shuffleboard. I, I love this story. Uh, looking for a shuffleboard, was being told that I'd be uh, hard pressed to find one uh, without buying one new. Um, somebody was in the restaurant having lunch one day and one of our uh, waiters overheard them talking about uh, the roadhouse up in Marcola wanting to sell their shuffleboard table. Three days later, we had it uh, in our restaurant. <laughs> so it's, it stayed in the neighborhood, yes, just came in town just a little bit from the Mohawk Roadhouse up there, and now it's here. So Bobby Baker, you guys tag two people in the comment section like everybody else is doing. You'll be eligible to win a $25 gift card to the Mohawk Bar and Grill out at the former Springfield Country Club, now Pine Ridge Golf Club. Public course now, no longer private, but they do sell memberships as well for those people that are like uh, John Erickson, our mutual friend at the Centennial Grill who golfs just about every single day. He's your best customer. We see him out here. Right <laughs> I'm sure you do. So um, let's go back inside. We, they're cooking a burger out here. Scotty, thank you. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, man, we'll see you. So that's, again, that's fling golf. That is not here yet, but that's something they're going to start up for people like you and me who are not golfers. Um, but uh, so your hours are, you're open on weekends till? Uh, we're open till 10 o'clock. Um, Actually, Monday through uh, Sunday. Monday through Sunday. Seven, day, seven days a week till 10 o'clock. Uh, the dinner hour is 5 to 8. Uh, we do have uh, the Oregon Lottery uh, in, so we will stay open. The bar will stay open until 10 o'clock. And you guys, they have a new menu and a really nice dinner menu. Great lunch menu with salads. Um, you know, you can get their hamburgers, their salads, all that for lunch. And then for dinner, um, salmon. Rib, uh -huh. Ribeye, pub steak, salmon, chicken piccata, 
real good food. Well, and I'm, yeah, and obviously the chicken Alfredo has already gotten rave reviews by our comments section. So um, I, I guess you need to try that as well. We're gonna go see the burger. Um, Caitlin Perkins says the food is amazing. I have heard even before Ron and them called me to say, hey, can we do something with you? Um, I had heard from neighbors that you guys had really stepped it up and they said, oh my God, yeah, we went out there and just had the best food. And not like it wasn't good before, but you've really stepped it up. In, and, and In a short few weeks, we're seeing the regulars. They're, they're coming back again and again. What is, the, what is the toughest part about a golf course? Keeping the grass cut. Real, I bet. <laughs> There's 162 acres out there of grass that keeps 162 growing. acres? Correct. Wow. So there's just a, a lot of work to maintain uh, the course, the fairways, the greens, the bunkers, the the roughs. Um, they just have to be continually manicured. And you have professional staff that do We the... have a wonderful green screw out there, and they, they do a remarkable job. All right, let's go see the burger. All right, you guys, so uh, they're cooking a burger up for us. It's, the, it's, it's a monster burger, it's a double patty, but it doesn't have a name yet. So they're having a contest for you to name the burger. So if it was me and I was thinking about this place, I have somehow have Mohawk, uh, something about the Mohawk Valley, something about our history. Oh, there's two troublemakers. Look at them. So, you're live just so you know. I already asked him if he's in the witness protection program, and, he's, and he said no. no. And his wife knows he's here, and he's here with this other guy, so it's not a big deal anyway. So I noticed you have the hat on, so you must be a fairly regular dude. Absolutely. I mean that as in terms of coming here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so were you with the Springfield Country Club? Yes. So why is this pretty exciting to see something different and new? And Oh, because it's, it's, uh, it was good before, and it's even better now. The, there's the greens are really good the, the, the fairways are in excellent shape this year and uh, it's great when you golf out here you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere don't you oh yeah you, you're just on the up on the hill there there's turkeys there's elk there's you know all kinds of stuff all right uh, what's your name or can you tell us sure richard straw s-t-r-a-w all right, man. Thanks. You bet, sir. Yeah, thanks for talking. Um, somebody, Bobby Baker's asking, how do we get here? Okay, so Spring, um, you go out 42nd. You go on, Mo it's Mohawk, right? Marcola. Marcola, Marcola, Marcola Road. Road to Sunderman Road. Marcola Road to Sunderman, and then you take a right, and you go right off the cart there, and you'll find it. Um, it's not very far out. It's only, what did you say, four miles? Five miles from the freeway intersection. Five miles from the freeway intersection. Now, look at this. This is the burger. Oh, my God. Yeah. That does need a name. So they're doing a contest to name that. Oh, Melissa, thank you for putting the address on there. You're very good at this. Yeah, so the day before Cinco de Mayo. So the 4th of May is the grand opening, and you can come out here and enjoy the festivities, what's going on, help name that monster burger. Remember, they do have a full bar. <laughs> you guys. And uh, full bar and local beer, which is super important to everybody. Um, hold on, guys. So, anything else we need to tell people? Just, just come and enjoy. You're all welcome. So, you guys open. This is a great place for lunch. It's not that far if you're in Eugene Springfield to go somewhere new for lunch. Um, if you know, it's not a very big drive out, and you can um, you're actually out of town where you're just enjoying it. And like I said, at the evening, this is the place to be right after work. Um, get just get yourself out of town and go have a beer somewhere. Never liked golf, but since Ron owns the place, we'll have to go check it out. That's Aaron Gonzalez. Yeah, you, you'll have to try it. Um, congratulations, Bobby Baker says. <laughs> Yummy place, says Coral. You already have fans. That's a, that's a good sign. This is a really good Ron, sign. Ron, this is a good sign. And you know what I think I love about it is, is there a kid's menu as well? There is. Okay, so there is, Melissa, there is a kid's menu. We have a kid's menu with the color crayons to go along with it so that they can do their normal thing. So that's all provided because it is a family place. Again, shuffleboard, pool, darts, you know, everything you'd right, expect. The kids are welcome to play the games as long as they have adult supervision. Okay. And, uh, you know, um, been quite a few lottery payouts uh, since we've got the lottery in here. So come on out and try the machines and see if you're one of the lucky ones. Ron, what I love is that you guys took something that was struggling and but a valuable asset to you know Springfield Eugene but mm -hmm. especially to us out here um, this is a real asset and you're 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 going for it and not just 
keeping it going, but boosting it up and making it go somewhere. This is going to be something that's going to be worthwhile as we move on down the road. It's, it's a golf course that needs to be here and, and a restaurant that people need needed to have. All right. So you guys, Ron, thank you. Thank so we're going to come back next month and uh, we got some fun stuff planned for you. So we'll be out here for the next six months coming out once a month. Uh, doing some different things, showing you different aspects of the place. Uh, so don't forget, uh, now open, new McKinsey Bar and Grill and the Pine Ridge Golf Club. So again, last thing is share your name with two other names. Tag two people in the comment section. There's already a bunch of people on there and you'll be eligible to win a $25 gift card. Uh, we'll give that ba out when I get back in like a week from... Uh, we're going on an exploring trip, so I'll get it to you when you get back. All right. Thanks, Ron, for having us out. Thank you, Rick. And uh, I can't wait to come out. I got a friend I'm going to bring out to do the uh, fling golf. And I'll have my camera there to watch. <laughs> I'm sure you meant that in a complimentary way, right? We'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Ron. See you guys later.